hook down. You really want one of Let's take it back up now. Okay, we're going to take the jib down. That's okay, jib up. Time. How you do this is you take it one clunk just to get the brake released. Press a little button to stop it, but don't do it when it's turning. So now let's turn it. That's turning now. Slow it down. Now put some reverse power to slow it down a bit quicker. Wait until it's fully stopped. That stopped. Oh, it's stopped itself. I didn't even have to press a little button that time. Let's take it back away, take it to the right, so take it one notch till the brake releases and slow take up the cover notches. I just keep it slow and rotating because it's a bit wobbly because of how the counterweight works. The crane shifts its position as it turns because of the counterweight. That's it turning, we can actually see it turning here. Okay, a little bit of reverse power, a bit of reverse power to get to its nice stopped position. Stopped. Good. That's your positions there. That shows you where you can and can't take the crane. So you have a look through our stuff cams. Oh, okay. oh it's running Windows XP, this thing. No, yeah, cams aren't working. See, so you can do it daytime and night time. So you press enter, the screen is calibrating. That's your info about this crane. You see there you got frequency converter, operating mounting, reset, you've got your language, you can go in zero languages, you've got jibs, you've got speed, we press what press the speed, what's that do? It doesn't do anything day home. Oh, it's weird it's running Windows XP. You've got the infos, what's that do? That's the infos there, I have to hide the IP address. So I don't want to show that, but it shows you it. This crane's been running for five thousand one hundred and fifty nine hours. Yeah. Okay, let's exit that. We can turn it into day mode, that, this makes the screen go bright, that's all that does, put it back to night mode again, press, press Jost, that shows you, that shows you about really seeing that, page 2 takes us to that. Here you've got VF settings, so you've got for the hoist, the luffer which is the jib, and the slewing which is uh, language, PLC, let's have a look at PLC, okay, that's what PLC looks like. Oh, okay, you got all of those. There's all of those. So look for that. What does that do? Nothing. That, nothing. Okay. Uh, uh, it's got more. Oh, it's got more. Okay. So all PLCs on this. No. Let's look at PLC settings. Uh, crane serial five, fifth crane ever built. I don't think so. Page two takes you to that. So that's your voltages. So that is phase to phase, got 418 volts. Phase to neutral, 240 volts. That is all correct. That's what the voltage should be. So here we have the instruction manual for the crane. I think you should look through this because uh, it's got some interesting stuff in it. I can't believe it. This is in the official instruction manual. Example of unhydrogenic materials. And what's that a bottle of? Juice? Hmm, no, look at one there. That's a water bottle. That is juice coloured in a water bottle. That's a bottle of piss. He actually tells clay drivers to not leave the bottles of piss up the clay. That's too funny. So here it says no beer. If you're a crane driver and you're thinking of drinking some beer up the crane, you really shouldn't be a crane driver. It says here, make sure you take regular breaks. It shows 
summon Hammer King. Yeah, we should definitely have a cup his grain. Definitely. This is the official instruction manual. It's like, with these pictures, it's like it's the side of a children. It's teaching children how to drive a crane. Bad practice. Don't have fights with your colleagues up the <laughs> crane. <laughs> I can't, I can't take it seriously. Don't have fights. It literally has that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you've got don't drag loads which are out of radius or just in general don't pick up loads if it's like off centre. So if you've got a hook off centre to the load, that's called side loading. That's one of the most dangerous things you do in a crane. Mm. You always have your load directly below the hook when lifting it. Obviously, I'm not lifting loads at all because it'd be illegal for me to actually attempt to lift a load and I wouldn't do that. I'm literally only driving it very slightly just to hear the motor start up. So it's got here instructions, hand signals of how the crane banksman tells the crane driver how to drive. That's interesting. And you'll be seeing that on your screen there because that screen's right on the hook. Some of this stuff is funny because I know cranes that aren't conforming to this. Good practice, a nice clean base of your crane. Bad practice, having the base of the crane flooded. But I've come across many cranes where the base is flooded. Many, many cranes are like that. So as you've got here, lightning instructions. I always wondered about what you're doing this lightening up the crane. All lifting operations should be stopped. Obviously, place the crane into shutdown position. Make sure personnel remain clear of the crane. That shows how seriously there's lightning. So there's you've got your crane cab, you've got your screens. That's your driver's seat. So you've got your controls there. So then your controls, you've got your left control, motion just stops in so it's not going to move. Left, right, it's for rotating. Up, down, does the jib up and down. On this one, up, down, it does your hook up and down. And left and right is for your auxiliary, but it's no auxiliary on this crane. Your auxiliary could be anything. So into the VF drive room, we've got, it's an Omeron. It could run a lift. Except it's running a crane today. We've got three VF drives. got a little VF drive there. We've got a VF drive there, a bigger one. And you've got the biggest VF drive here. Imagine changing the pulsing frequency of a crane. That'd sound really good hearing at low frequency, but I'm not going to touch anything on this. You've got Luntal crane, repair kit. Any bottles of piss? There's some empty bottles waiting to be pissed in, but there's no piss bottles. They've obeyed the instructions to not left the piss bottles up the crane for good hygiene. Some slippers there. You've got rescue kit there. You've got a rubbish bag there. Oh, I was hoping to taste test some piss. I'm really disappointed there's no bottles of piss up here. Here's the back of the crane cab, got little platform. Never trust the railings on cranes because they always fucking wobble like crazy. Behind here you've got your hydraulics, that's for your jib. There's the jib, that's your counter jib there. If you look up, there's your jib. I have to increase the brightness because you can't see a thing. There you go. So up front of your crane you've got there the motor for the hook. That's your hook motor. Hook motor there, then down there in the axis somewhere will be the motor for rotating. And at the back, you've got your hydraulic for your gym. Leg dangle, where's your crane? You can see that. There's my leg dangle. Oh, yes, that's nice. And a nice look at the view. The tallest thing around here. This crane's about 130 meters high. Yeah, very nice. Another quick drive. If we look at the axis, don't want to talk on too long, long tail crane, gear oh. axis, nice looking axis, very greasy axis, you've got a very middle bit, where's your axis, where's your motor for its rotation, I can't even see the motor for us. there must be somewhere, oh, the axis looks a bit different actually to what I'm used to on normal cranes, and slightly different, the motor must be on the outside of the axis, interesting. 
you can't see that well because it's very dark but that there is a crane extender so just there you can see the platform down there ladder there but that's where it extends the crane up when they put a piece in you've got a big hydraulic though it doesn't come out well on camera because it's so dark don't turn the torch because i don't want to see but that's massive hydraulic hydraulic tank just there and that boosts up the crane and then the crane gets boosted up another piece gets slotted in Thank you.